Hello viewers, my name is Dr. Omoni Yadioye. You are welcome again to Medical Tips on Ogongo TV. Today I want to talk to you about how to overcome peptic ulcer disease. Please, before I proceed, I want you to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Also click on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we upload new content. Now, Peptic ulcer disease. Peptic ulcer disease is a condition that occurs when there is sore or there are sores in the inner lining of the stomach or the upper part of the intestine, the duodenum. If the sore or ulcer is found in the stomach, it is called gastric ulcer. If it is in the upper part of the intestine, it is um, duodenal ulcer. A lot of things are responsible for ulcer, but ordinarily, the way God created a man is such that our stomach secretes mucus and then also a kind of acid called gastric acid. The mucus that is secreted usually form the next layer after the innermost layer of the stomach and then the acid um, is after it. But when the quantity of the acid secreted is too much compared uh, to the mucus secreted, there can be ulcer. Okay? This wound can be complicated by a bacteria called Helicobacter pylori and uh, what this bacteria does is to make it difficult to make the ulcer difficult to be treated okay it causes what we call chronic ulcer now a lot of people with um, small sore in their stomach or duodenum don't know about 50 percent of people with peptic ulcer disease don't know because they may have no pain at all or with mild pain. When people with peptic ulcer disease feel it, they have pains in the upper part of the abdomen. Uh, most people describe this pain as a burning sensation. Some say it's pepperish, okay, but it's located where the stomach is located. The pain can be so much it could be you know it could be mild and some people can also come with nausea um, some people with early satiety they eat a little food they get full okay some you know they, they easily get bloated some people they vomit frequently some people could and in some people it could be so severe that it will obstruct their sleep Okay, some people, when they vomit, they can find blood in it. The ulcer they saw can be deep in some people uh, to cause perforation or bleeding. So, a peptic ulcer disease is a big problem if it is not well attended to. Well, um, honestly, if you have peptic ulcer disease, and you feel you've battled with it for a long time and uh, you're just convinced that it could not be cured I assure you it can be cured you can be without peptic ulcer disease it all depends on these five things I want to tell you I'm going to discuss with you five things that you can do to help you get over your peptic ulcer disease. Number one, eat on time. You see, you need food. To overcome peptic ulcer disease, you need your food. Don't forget that I told you that in your stomach there is gastric acid. Okay? And this gastric acid has corrosive effect on the inner lining of your stomach. When you eat, what happens is 
your food mixes with this acid and then it reduces the corrosive effect on your muzzle. Okay? It's important you eat on time. Say by 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. You, you, as a matter of fact, you need to avoid fasting. I, I don't usually like to eat on time. I like to eat by 11. I like to eat by 12. It's not a good point for somebody with peptic ulcer disease. As a matter of fact, we advise that you also eat in the middle of the night. Okay? Especially when you wake up to ease yourself, ensure that you put something in your stomach. Okay, this will really reduce the corrosive effect of your acid. Okay, and it will enable your ulcer to heal gradually. So, eat on time. Don't wait until you feel hungry before you eat. If you want your ulcer you know, to heal up, do not joke with food. It doesn't matter the quantity. Just ensure that you eat. Number two, avoid any food that triggers your ulcer pain. Okay? Uh, for example, if you notice that when you take yam, you have ulcer pain, then why take yam? Avoid it. Okay? In some people, when they take um, food uh, with a lot of spices, the pain comes. So avoid it. Any food that gives you that pain, avoid it. It is whatever makes you comfortable that you take. No matter how sweet that meal is, avoid it. Number three, avoid dairy products. So dairy products are you know, milk products. Uh, it's, it's, it's good for you to know that milk contains lactic acid. I wonder when a lot of people say that uh, uh, when my ulcer pain was much, I, I took a can of a can of milk and then I became relieved. No, it's wrong. It's wrong. Milk contains lactic acid. When you take lactic acid and you add it to the gastric acid that you have, okay, essentially your gastric acid, you know, there is hydrochloric acid in your stomach too. But when you add these together, the corrosive effect in the long run will be more. But uh, because of the immediate relief, uh, that is, um, of course, from the, um, from the fact that you are taking something and then your stomach feels you know, stretched, at that time you, you have a temporary relief, does not mean that you are getting better. It is worsening the case. Don't take milk. Please, if you have peptic ulcer disease, avoid taking raw milk. Raw milk contains lactic acid. And this lactic acid plus your gastric acid in your stomach will increase the corrosive effect on your ulcer. Avoid dairy products. Number four, avoid unnecessary medications. You see, there are some medications that can worsen ulcer. For example, um, pain relief drugs like uh, the non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs like uh, diclofenac, like ibuprofen, like pyrozicam, like endoseed, like uh, naprosine, like aspirin. All these drugs, even though they are painkillers, when you use them, you feel that your pain is subsiding. But to be honest with you, in the long run, they are causing more problems. As a matter of fact, patients with peptic ulcer disease that come with perforations are patients that abuse uh, these non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Please be careful. Avoid unnecessary medications. If you need to take medications, ensure that you get it from the right place. So if you want your ulcer to be cured, it's important for you to be sure of which medication you are taking. You can't, you can't say you want to cure your ulcer pain and then you take pain relief drugs 
that will worsen your case. Please be careful. Do not take wrong medications. Number five, please consult your doctor. Don't, don't be overconfident. Don't say that a particular friend of yours is taking a particular drug, then you have to take it. See your doctor. See your doctor. And when you see your doctor, ensure that you are compliant to your medications. You see, from experience, what we notice is that once a patient takes his or her drugs for five days, six days, one week, and they're comfortable, and they feel that they have relief, the next thing they do is to abandon that drug. Okay? And we are talking about ulcer here. The wound would not have healed in that short period of time. Okay? If you take your drug and you feel comfortable, maybe your drug is meant to reduce your acid secretion, or your drug is meant to, you know, create a base for your acid so that you don't have that corrosive effect again. So they feel comfortable. They feel that it's gone. They stop their medication. The ulcer is still there. It's important to be compliant to your medication. Ulcer can be cured. Ulcer can heal. There are groups of medications that can be taken. And there is a particular length of time for which it should be used. Okay, you need to use your medication as prescribed, please. I assure you that if you do all this, your ulcer will be cured. If you have any question, please be free to put it in the comment section. We will attend to it. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I want you to stay safe. I want you to stay healthy. Till next time, we meet again on this channel. My name is Dr. Omoni Yadiri. I love you.